like I mentioned in the 411, it's a lot easier to go through the different variations here. And when you pick one, go ahead and say, hey, it's on layer whatever. All right, I'm going to jump over to Illustrator. And I want to take you to layer 50. So I'm just going to click and hold down the mouse button and drag down until layer 50 is visible. And the reason I'm, I'm selecting this one and the way to select this, look, I'm on layer 50. And I'm going to move over to this meatball. That's what this is called. And I'm going to click on it in order to select it. And the reason I'm picking this file is because it's got a glitch right here. Now, most of these, the range of colors from one side to the other, isn't exactly what we want. And here, we want to eliminate this glitch. And yeah, 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 we could work in Illustrator, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this, Command-C, and then jump over to Photoshop. And this is the starter file I gave you in Photoshop. Notice it's named Colorscape 00. The idea is that you're going to save out a version of this that'll be Colorscape, in this case, 50, right? Um, so, in the background layer, I'm going to click, remember we have copied. I'm going to hit Command minus because I need some room to work. And then Command V to paste as a smart object, not as anything else. Don't add it to your library because that'll hang Photoshop. And then these lines are moving vertical. I want them to move horizontally. So all I have to do, get the little rotate, start turning, then hold down shift when I get close to the end and it snaps into place. Now remember, we have that right down here, this. So I can pull and say, yeah, I don't want that. I, I kind of want this part here. And at the top, it's a little too light, so maybe right about there. And then as I drag out the side, I can hold down Option and drag them both out and let that snap. Just so we have just enough room, I'm going to hit Command-0 in order to zoom in a little bit on this. And I'm just going to hold down Option and go a little bit past. And that way I know I have no white lines along the edges here. And then hit return to accept this. Okay, now pay attention. This is something new. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, this was above our 3D layer. I'm going to pull that down so it's below the uh, lookup tables. And I included this. We'll talk about this later for right now. It's important that this vector smart object, if I hit Command-T, it extends beyond the outside, and it's going to remember that no matter what. So what I want to do is, and there's a couple different ways to do it, but I want to make sure this gets done. So Shift, Option, Command, and make a new layer, right? Oh, I'm in a transform. Let me hit Escape. Click on that. Shift, Option, Command, N. Makes a new layer. Shift, Option, Command, E makes an everything layer, then I'm going to click on this vector smart object and delete it. And the reason for that is now, if I hit Command T, I only have the information on this particular la layer. I'm going to hit Escape. This is step one. Now I'm going to stop this video here and then we'll move on to step two, three, and four, however far we get today.